You'll be learning about 10 amazing microSaaS examples, and for each of them, we'll be taking a look at who it was founded by, their estimated revenue, as well as what the microSaaS product does. Our first example was founded by Askar Fuzlayoff, and it's called Who is Lookup API? This was started as a side project by the founder to learn how to work with millions of records, but now it does a self-reported $4,300,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it's a service that helps you quickly find accurate who is details about domain names. It's provided in a JSON format, ensuring proper parsing and normalization for seamless integration. They have over 30 million domains tracked, and it has quite a few different use cases. This product recently hit that 4K mark as well, doing so on August 21st of 2024. Our next example is called Persh Analytics. It has two co-founders, Marvin Blum and Daniel Scram. It does a self-reported $7.6,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it's an easy to use and privacy friendly alternative to Google Analytics. It has a beautiful dashboard that makes it super easy to understand your website's performance. And right now they have over 500 plus customers. Next up, we have State Set, which was founded by Dom Steele and it empowers DTC brands with autonomous commerce operations. It has quite a few integrations here with all the big e commerce players and lets you consolidate your operations tech stack. Next up, we have Saha, which does a self reported $13,000 a month in revenue, and it was founded by Alex Dahlberg, and it enables developers to collect and analyze smartphone as well as wearable data to get both behavioral and physical health insights all through one SDK slash API, allowing you to build and ship the next generation of health apps, including things such as health scores, biomarkers, and sensor data. Our next example is called Enrich. It does a self-reported $1.5,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Raul, and it lets you enrich data on people and companies so you can elevate your data game with real-time top-tier enrichment APIs. So you can get things like person enrichment details, company data enrichment, LinkedIn profile enrichment, as well as people and company search. PlugBear does a self-reported $5.9,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by Snow Lee. And it was built to help companies with limited engineering experience enhance their resources by enabling custom chat GPT for communication platforms like Slack or Microsoft Teams. They're also backed by Techstars and powered by JP Morgan. This is done with no coding required and it's going to integrate with your daily communication tools. So it's going to really speed up that process so you can create a specialized AI in just an hour with no coding required which is really gonna make it easy for anyone to do so. Trevor does a self-reported $10,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it was founded by DeVore Klonik. And it's an end-to-end -end API operations platform that's gonna help engineering teams build, ship, and understand the REST APIs all in a single place. And it's trusted by over 15,000 developers at some really major companies. MailRush is a cold email software solution that does a self-reported $22,000 a month in recurring revenue. It was founded by George Morneau, and it lets you send and follow up on cold emails with basically no effort. So it's meant for a B2B cold outreach, and it's gonna include the necessary things such as email warmup, email validation, as well as email follow-ups. It's recently built some AI features into the platform as well, making it super easy to send those cold emails. Canopy API was founded founded by Ryan Anderson, and it was built because the founder realized there wasn't a GraphQL API for Amazon product, category, and search data that could be used in e-commerce tooling, so it was built as a modern API for Amazon. You can get things such as real-time product, pricing, reviews, and sales estimates through intuitive and convenient APIs. Lastly, we have a product called Scraping Fish that does a self-reported $7,000 a month in recurring revenue, and it's an API that helps to scrape websites and collect all sorts of data from the internet. They're going to handle web Web browsers, rotating proxies, JavaScript rendering and captchas, and all their IPs are ethically sourced. So it's going to allow you to do web scraping without the hassle, along with ingrained simplicity. If you've made it this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your own micro SaaS. And I have a complete academy that's going to show you everything step by step on how to build, launch and profit from your very own micro SaaS product. Even if you don't have any product ideas, funding or SaaS experience, there's a link in the description below so make sure you check out the academy or if you're just looking for some free micro SaaS ideas i have you covered there as well there's also a link for this in the description below 
all you need to do is enter in your email. This concludes the video here on 10 micro SaaS examples. If you enjoyed this video or liked any of these examples, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. I also have tons of other SaaS videos and examples just like this on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them below. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.